A balanced community of microlife is essential for healthy soil. The aerobic organisms collect in the soil and refine both naturally occurring nutrients and inorganic fertilizers, making them available to the plant. In this picture, the small specks are bacteria, which are largely responsible for the refinement of nutrients. These organisms eat, store, and release more nitrogen than any other organism known on this planet. When they have the right food, moisture, and temperature, they split and divide, on average, every 20 minutes. Fungi are the large tubular-like organisms whose job is to transport the nutrients to where they're needed at the plant's roots. These tubes, called hyphae, can extend from a few inches to over 100 feet in length. As the fungi extend their reach, nutrients far removed from the plant are transported to it as needed, in exchange for sugar given off by the plant. The interaction of bacteria and fungi is essential to the health of the soil, providing the basis of the food supply for all other soil life and a protection mechanism for the plants from predators within the soil. For instance, grazers and herbivores eat roots, but when a healthy fungal population exists in the root structure, they act to kill these root feeders, which in turn creates food for the fungi and bacteria, and so it goes. Grazers and herbivores are essential to this environment because their movement through the soil helps to loosen it. Burrowers such as earthworms also live in this environment, creating larger tunnels that aerate and allow water to seep deep into the soil, supplying roots and soil life with much needed moisture, which is stored for future need by other soil life, even in drought conditions. Nematodes and protozoa also have an essential role in maintaining soil health. As the bacteria refine nutrients, specifically nitrogen, the nematodes and the protozoa in turn eat the bacteria. As these predators do not require all this nitrogen, they deposit the excess back in the soil, making it readily available to the plant. All these organisms ultimately become food for each other, and when ingested, certain ones retain some of the other microbes' nutrients, while others excrete the excess nutrients back into the soil. As these organisms die, they become food for others and deposit nutrients such as nitrogen in large concentrations in the rooting zone.